dun 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 I've had the Mission Impossible theme song stuck in my head all weekend long. I can't help it. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. It is Mission Impossible weekend, and I'm feeling very adventurous, and I brought somebody with me today. Hello. We're gonna do some Ethan Hunt shit. Cue the music. Just got back from the movie theater from seeing Mission Impossible Fallout and whew, where do I begin? Mission Impossible. Oh crap, hang on. Oh dude, don't get pooped on. Oh <laughs> man, if we. Mission Impossible Fallout is once again directed by Christopher McQuarrie, who directed the last one. It's Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. And it, once again, it stars Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise is back as, once again, as Ethan Hunt. And at 56 years old, this guy is still doing his thing. He's still doing his stunts. Insane stunts, by the way. I mean, I gotta show a lot of respect for Tom Cruise for doing that. In the last Mission Impossible movie, Tom Cruise was hanging from the side of a freaking airplane while it took off in the air. Like, that was a real stunt. Tom Cruise is out of his mind. Huge shout out to, to Tom Cruise for that. I don't give a damn what religion he is. He's in. The supporting cast is really cool too. Ving Rhames. Simon Pegg, Rebecca Ferguson, and my boy Henry Cavill. Yes, Mr. Cockin of the Arms. Hello, here. Who am I? <laughs> so sick. So awesome. I might have got a slight boner when that happened. Let me talk something about Henry Cavill. Now, Henry Cavill, I enjoy him as Superman. I think he's an awesome actor. Um, but damn, that mustache. That's the mustache, the million dollar mustache. That, that's probably cinema's most iconic mustache. Who the hell is Tom Selleck? Tom Selleck who? Burt Reynolds? Who are you, man? I don't know who you are. It's all about Henry Cavill and that powerful mustache that he's got. I really enjoy this film. Go see it in the biggest screen you can possibly find. Go see it in IMAX if you have to. It's so worth it. Cinematography is something that I'm really looking for when I'm watching a film. There's been plenty of action films that were perfectly and beautifully shot, like Mad Max Fury Road had some amazing cinematography, Blade Runner 2049, and Mission Impossible Fallout had some beautiful shots. And even if you're not watching the movie in an IMAX theater, you'd be like, Oh yeah, that's, that, that definitely would have looked really good in IMAX. The cinematography on this movie was very, very spot on. We go see these movies for the action, right? But what I really liked about this movie was the story. It was actually a very, very suspenseful thrill ride. 
I love all kinds of movies, but uh, action and horror films are like my easy go-to. Even if you're not a fan of action films, definitely go see this one. I highly recommend it. And by the way, I've seen all the films. I've seen all the Mission Impossible movies and I enjoy them all. Ghost Protocol, I really enjoy that one. I even enjoyed Rogue Nation. The first one, man, the first one was really good. Second one, to me, is probably the weakest one. Directed by John Woo, but it was so cliche. I mean, it was cool. The one that's got the limp biscuit. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that one. Mission Impossible 3 was actually pretty good as well. Fun fact, that was J.J. Abrams' directorial debut. Also a fun fact about Mission Impossible 3, it had the best villain in Philip Seymour Hoffman. Rest in peace. However, after seeing Mission Impossible Fallout, I'm happy to report that this is probably my favorite Mission Impossible movie. Hands down. It was so good. The suspense factor was definitely there. This movie not only does it deliver with the action, it also delivers with the character development. It delivers with the plot and the story structure. Everything from the music, the action, the characters, man, the plot twist. Every time somebody got double crossed, man, it, it was... This movie was just a gem. It's everything that you would want in an action film and more. Really enjoyed this movie a lot. Overall, Mission Impossible Fallout was a fun time. It's not just a fun time, man. It's more than just fun. A lot of people say fun, and they think, oh yeah, you know, a fun family adventure or a fun, joyful adventure. This is more than that. Um, that's just not the case. I'm sitting in the movie theater and I'm just thinking to myself, yes, they got that right. This is exactly what action movies really need to be. In a world full of CGI, heavily infested CGI movies uh, with green screen backgrounds, we watch movies like that and I'm not trying to disrespect my boy Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but when you, when you see a movie like Skyscraper, you know it's fake. You know it's all green screen. You know it's all CGI and computer graphics. But man, when you're watching Mission Impossible Fallout, it's real. Like, the stunts are right there. It's like if you're watching a stunt show happening on the big screen. I like my action movies a lot. Like, one of my all-time favorite action movies is Die Hard. Um, another great action movie that I love is Speed. Um, another action movie that I love more recent one is Mad Max Fury Road. Mission Impossible Fallout is right up there with those action movies that I just mentioned. After sitting down and letting the excitement wear off for a bit, I have to still say that I'm going to give this score a 5 out of 5. The movie was about 2 hours and 40 minutes, I believe. I wanted it to go longer. That is my review on Mission Impossible Fallout. If you've seen Mission Impossible Fallout, I would really like to know what did you think about the movie. Is this movie your favorite one out of the entire Mission Impossible franchise? I would really like to know what are your thoughts on the Mission Impossible series? Does it trump over James Bond? That is it for me, but I will see you guys next time. Peace out!